Hey, what's up everybody? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, we are sitting here in our... Oh, uh, wow, and I forgot the number already. 9630, I believe. 9320, correct? Yes, 9320, okay. I'm thinking of our other tractor. <clears throat> so, I have gotten a lot done since the last video. Um, quite a bit actually. We'll go ahead and we'll hop up in here. All right, so we own fields 28, 29, 30, 31, 5, 1, 7, 2, 4, 8, and 13. Um, everything is plowed that needed to be. All we have left is field 2. Um, and we have had the Mandaco Storm Cultivator rolling right behind us. He is getting slowly caught up. Uh, he is currently running on field 13, and he has field 4 left, and then field 2 after we are done. But, um, we have some other stuff going on. I'm going to go ahead. I made a sheet for what crops are going into where. So we are going to be growing wheat, corn, soybeans, sunflowers, and sorghum. Um, so I've got f soybeans. Okay, let's see here. Wheat is going in 5, 28, and 29. So this, these three fields here are going to be our wheat fields. Uh, corn is going up here in fields 30 and 31. Soybeans are going into fields 2 and 4. We're just going to do a little bit of soybeans. Sunflowers are going into 8 and 13. And sorghum is going into 1 and 7. Now if we hop over here to our calendar, we are able to put in wheat, corn, and sunflowers right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to be getting rolling on some of that. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we are going to get this guy rolling right here on field two. We're going to set him up on course play. Uh, we want two longest edge. All right, let's go ahead and generate that course and see what that's going to look like. We'll give it a second here. That should work. So we'll go over here. We'll save course under the 2410. And this will be F2. We're going to go ahead and start him at the first waypoint. Get him rolling. Okay, he is good to go. Our Challenger and our Mandaco are rolling right along over here on uh, field 13. And then, if we hop over here to the shop, I've got the oh, air seeder sitting here, unfolded, stuck inside the door. We got our service truck here, just going through it, making sure it's ready to go. Uh, we got our 8210 and our roller pulled in here as well. Got that greased up, ready to rock. Both of the trucks are in here. Those are greased up, ready to roll, uh, along with our... Kinsey planner here and then we've got the load king trailer over there filled up with liquid fertilizer to tend to this guy right here um, the only thing that we have left to do is we just got to fill all of our trucks up with our solid product so we're gonna go ahead we'll start off with this truck so this one is going to be running to our corn planter. Go ahead and fire up our conveyor. Seeds. We'll get this guy filled up.
<clears throat> we'll get this thing filled up and then we've got our other two trucks to fill up as well. So we'll get those filled up with seed and fertilizer. You can see our cat eye dually and our fuel trailer is sitting over there. Um, the 9320 is a very much fuel hog. Okay, we're just going to leave that run. We're going to go ahead and fire up this one as well. That way, that is ready. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we'll just leave the tarp open then. Okay, so... I think what we're going to do first... Is we're going to go ahead and pull this guy out. We're going to get him going on sunflowers. That means I need to pull this back up because now I just forgot. So, 8 and 13. Which is perfect because field 8 is done and ready to go. 13 will be done. Let's go ahead and switch this over to sunflowers. We're going to start him on sunflowers. And then we'll go ahead and get moved on to probably our corn ground. So this one we're going to go ahead and run on course play. We're going to take care of our air seeder. Okay. Now let's see if this is going to work. Hopefully it does. Otherwise I'm going to be very upset. See if we can get this thing to fill up. Yes, no, maybe so. Does it need to, like, be unfolded or something stupid like that? I guess we can try that. We'll go ahead and get it unfolded then. I wouldn't think it would need to be unfolded, but I guess we'll see. Well, let's try this now. Okay, we're going to have to move that truck because I'm in a very bad place with that truck for this thing to be unfolded. nothing well why is that because it should fill with no problem well, what the world let's see if we can even fill fertilizer
Okay, so there we get the refill. Okay, so there's our fertilizer. <clears throat> So we can fill that. Oh, apparently I hit the concrete wrong. But I cannot get it to load seed. Let's try it up here at the conveyor once. up having to swap out planters or something here. That's strange. Oh, there it went. Saw it. Thought it did. for this thing which would be irritating but we have the money that we can afford this one bumper pull let's do gooseneck standard Go ahead and make it green. Because why not? Wait, what is this? Rim color. Oh, I don't want that. Nah, we'll just go with the standard color. Looks kind of stupid otherwise. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this guy. Then we need a pickup. Go ahead and grab the Cummins. Oh wait, we can't use the Cummins. My bad, I don't have a gooseneck. This does though, however. So we're gonna go ahead, run this guy over. Let's go pick this tender up and see if maybe that'll work better. Then maybe we'll just have to keep that truck mounted one for just our fertilizer. Might uh, end up being what we have to do. Our 
cat is almost done with tillage. In that field, anyways, I guess. We do still have two other fields to go, but those fields we don't need for about another two months, I believe. I believe it's May when we can start planting our soybeans and sorghum. Or maybe it's April. I don't remember now. April or May. Oh. Really? Hmm. Okay. Well. Can we change that? Shit. Ah, okay. Oh, my super strength is not on. Uh, let's change that. And wait for auto save. Super strength on. <laughs> It's unrealistic as can be, but it's what we got to do here. Okay, where in the world is where we need to be then? Open shop menu. Do I need it like right here or what? Just let me. There we go. Okay, customize. Let's go back to a bumper pull then. Customize. Yes. Okay. Because I know that the bumper pull attacher joint is on this truck. Because we were just using it. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. Let's get this back to the yard and throw a little bit of seed in it and see what it does. Oh boy. That was almost a wreck. Why is it so busy? It's 7 a.m. Why is it so busy? Good grief. Alright, after this one, we're just pulling out. Oop. Let's not hit that car, though. Tired of wait. There's a long ass line behind it yet. Jesus. Yeah, no, we were definitely not going to wait that long. So we're moving right along. I have not calculated and figured out the size of all of our fields yet. Um... I will have to do that at some point, and then we'll know exactly what uh, what we're running for acres. Let's see if we can get this to load into here. Okay, that'll be enough for a trial. So take this thing up here now swing the pipe out and we'll see if we can't get it to load some seed hopefully it works we can do it without clipping into the planter Something had popped up. I don't know what. K. 
Okay, well, there's got to be a way to fill this frickin' planter. I mean, it's one of the in-game ones, for crying out loud. Aha! Is that it? Is that the one? Is it working? There we go. Okay, perfect. Well, that'll work then. We can use this guy. And we will just unload out of this truck for now, I guess. Well, that's good to know. It's annoying, but good to know. Yeah, that's very irritating. I don't get why it didn't want to work from the big truck, but I guess this works too. This is honestly a little bit more realistic. Okay. So let's go top the planter off and then we'll top this trailer off. We'll get that truck moved out of our way. <clears throat> Just one more piece of equipment. had it there there we go well we're close I'm not gonna sit and adjust it because then stuff goes haywire okay well we will go ahead we'll top this guy off Just gonna pull it up ahead here. That'll work. Alright. We are just going to leave the pipe out. Go ahead and shut him off. Go ahead and grab this guy, and we're just gonna pull it right up here for now. Okay, now. Oh. Okay, that guy's almost done. So, our cultivator is done, but I'm going to. I want to get this guy rolling first. So, let's go ahead and do that. That way this guy can get going, get rolling, start putting some seed in the ground, and then we will move the cultivator, we'll get everything filled up for the air seeder, and get the air seeder taken up to our field. Alright, let's go ahead, we'll get the planter unfolded. <clears throat> and we'll get him 
start right about in here somewhere. All right, let's go ahead and get a course made. We're going to set this at 18. Uh, we want two headlands. Start on the headland. Let's do a 5% overlap and longest edge and generate. That'll work. That'll work. And we'll go over here. We need a new folder. We're going to put Kinsey Planter. And then we're going to save the course under Kinsey. And this will be F13. Okay. And we want to start at the first waypoint. Perfect. And away we go. So, he can start moving on that. And then let's go ahead and grab the challenger. And let's take this guy over to field four and get him going over there. Getting one step closer to being done with the tillage. Oh, we just wiped out that road sign. Whoops, my bad. Hopefully, this guy will have enough fuel and death to finish, but I don't think that's going to happen. Definitely need to do some repairs to it once we are done. Uh, we might end up just taking it down to the shop and doing it, because then we can also fix up our paint. Um... Which is kind of a neat feature, I think, in 22, having your paint actually wear down too, and the fact that you have to fix those separate. Um, like our main shop here is, it does have the repair trigger inside, but you can only repair damages, you can't repair your paint. Which is kind of neat. You gotta take it to the uh, actual shop to get your paint fixed. It is kind of a headache having to go to a totally other spot for it, but at the same time, it is, like I said, kind of neat. So we'll get him going on this here field. Do all right, generate perfect. Yeah, that'll work. All right, save under the Mandaco F four, and away you go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and our other tractor is done. So we are officially done with this guy. Where are we at here? Okay. Now, is there an entrance down on this end? There is. Perfect. We will go ahead and take this guy back to the farm. 10.3 hours on this big beast. This thing has definitely put in a lot of hours. A lot of work and a lot of fuel and death. I think I've filled this thing three times already. She's definitely a workhorse. Let's see if we can get in here without hitting a gate or anything. And then we will just pull this guy up right behind the bobcat and 
and go ahead and wash them up. I will put it away later. Actually, we'll save washing it for later as well. Because let's get let's get our trucks out of here and get them filled up so we can get this air seeder filled and get rolling, putting some wheat in the ground here. This guy filled up with seed. Perfect. Get this guy loaded. Let's grab our other truck. Our lights up here, so that's kind of neat. So we get this one filled up with our fertilizer. It's gonna be a whole lot of screwing around here today, trying to get everything set up. All right, and we'll get you. Filling up this guy. And let's go ahead and grab this. And we need to move our Cummins out of the way. The roller gets to sit for just a little bit longer. Can't really do anything with that until we get some fields planted. Too many buttons here. All right, let's get this big beast backed out of here. Let's go ahead and fold this guy up. <clears throat> Hopefully this will make quick work of our crop. So we got wheat, barley, oats, canola. We can use this to put soybeans in. But we won't really need to. We don't have too many soybeans. Sorghum. Okay, perfect. Ooh, whoa. Jackknife in here. That's not what I want to do. Alright. We'll get this guy swung around here. Now I gotta remember which goes in where. Guess we'll find out here. I believe the first, whoops. I believe the first one is seed, but I'm not positive. So we're gonna find out here. If it doesn't wanna load, then we know we are on the fertilizer. Perfect. So let's go ahead and we'll shut all this off and grab another screenshot here. We'll go ahead and get this filled on up. Okay, that's done. Um, let's see, how much of the truck does it take? Wow, it takes almost half a truck to load the air seeder from completely empty. Oh, we should probably switch over to our other tank first. Go ahead and get that switching. Grab our fertilizer. We'll 
get fertilizer filled up. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get this truck topped back off. Oh wow, that takes barely anything. Okay, we'll go ahead and get this topped, topped off up here. Just gonna go ahead and shut this truck off for now, because we won't need it for a little bit. Okay, while that's filling, let's shut this truck and this conveyor off. Good to go. So shut that guy down. We'll jump in here. Get everything closed up. Let's get rolling. We'll head on up here to our field and start drilling some wheat. Oof, this is going to be a it's definitely a tight one to get out of. I am definitely not going in that one when we get done. So we'll go up. We'll start on field 28. And just work our way from there. haven't seen any errors with our Kinsey so guess we'll see the uh, biggest thing that I am curious on is if we are going to have enough storage space for all of this crop this fall if we don't we'll sell a few loads and we will look at buying right down here there is a silo complex and we can buy that it's only 40,000 so if we end up running out of space we can always look into buying that um, and we'll go from there I guess So now we're going to pull in here. I am going to set up a course play course just so I have it. Um, that way I have everything that I need. So we'll put it right about here. Uh oh. That's not good. Which one? Holy Toledo. What do we got going on here? Okay. Well. Apparently, course plays drunk. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. So he crossed two cricks. <laughs> oh, good lord. Alright. What was he trying to do here? So it looks like he's moving on to this pass. Good grief. I love course play, but man, do I hate it sometimes as well. Alright, we'll get him back rolling on his way. And then we'll go back up here. Where is... He really not going to give me my tractor up here? Okay. I guess we will... Whoa! What was that? <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay. I hate when it makes these sharp corners with this tractor because that's when stuff really goes haywire. I'm turning too sharp myself here. 
All right, let's get this guy flipped around here. Get him going again. I must have missed this message. Okay, we'll get him going. All right. So, let's go ahead and we'll make a course here. This is bigger than 18, isn't it? It's got to be. Cedars. This is... No, it is 18. Okay. So, we'll set it at 17.8 to headlands, longest edge, generate. Oh, no. Okay, well... <laughs> oh, we're going to have this problem again. I see. Well, I guess now we got to sit here a minute. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it is trying to do 28 and 29 all in one. And that is not what we want. Yeah, no, that's that's not that's not what we want here. Let's get rid of that. Okay, well, apparently it doesn't like that starting point, so we're going to go ahead and move this guy right over to here, and then it should hopefully be better. Let's see. Okay, perfect. There we go. That's what we want. We want just this field. So let's go ahead and generate that course. Perfect. Now we'll hop over here. Create a folder. Um, let's call it Air Cedar. Save the course under that as F28. Perfect. Now we can take that guy off. Oop. All right, let's get turned around here. Without wiping out the fence entirely. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on seeding. <laughs> Alright. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Too close to the fence again. Come on, get off there. It's the only downfall to using this big setup, especially with an articulated tractor, is it turns like a freight train. But we are putting seed in the ground. Finally, uh, um, a lot of time just to get ready for this. So since last episode, I did see a post on uh, South... South Sask's Facebook, the creator of this map, that he did submit a version 2 of this map to the Giants Mod Hub. So we should hopefully be seeing that soon. Um, but we'll have to see. We may not be able to jump over to version 2 just yet. Because if we do, we'll probably lose everything that we have. So we'll have to kind of see how that plays out. Uh, first. Before we really get too far into anything. See if we can avoid seeding into that field. Alright, let's go ahead here and let's 
Let's bring up our GPS. We'll load up this course. Make sure our lines are on. Auto width. That actually will work. Right there where it's at. I mean, we're overlapping into the grass a little bit, but it'll be all right. Oh, wow, and we're already at 46 minutes. So I think what we'll do, is I don't really like making the videos too long. So what we'll do is we'll get our headland finished, and then we'll go ahead and stop it. And what I'll do is we'll come back and... When we come back, I will have this field finished, and I'll have the headlands done on that field, and then we can go ahead and plant that field in our next video. Yep, I was just about to say, it must have been our autosave kicking in. Alright, so let's just check on this guy quick. Alright, cool. He is rolling. Um, this guy should be on his next field by the time we come back as well. So, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll probably have him set up. But, we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and check on this guy quick. He is just about done. So, I think that's going to do it for today, everybody. Um, like I said, we'll get... This guy will be done. We'll have him sitting in the yard as well. Um, I might get around to getting this and the plow washed up and put away. And then we'll have our... Kinsey will be on his next field. His last field of sunflowers. And then we will be on our second field of wheat. So I'll get a little bit done. Won't be quite as much as I went ahead and got done now. Just because it's a lot of the same thing. A lot of plowing. A lot of cultivating. It's just repeat. And just go, go, go. So I will go ahead, get that stuff done. And then we'll see you guys in the next video. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new to the channel and enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you all in our next video.